Learn how to officially install the latest Ubuntu on your Windows 11 using this simple and quick tutorial. Before installing Ubuntu, we must enable a certain Windows feature. Head over to search box, type and search for Windows features. Once you get to this window, scroll down until you find the Windows subsystem for Linux. Simply check the box and enable it. Finally click on OK. Once the settings have been applied, it's a must to reboot the computer. And if for some reason, Linux is not getting installed, you can watch this dedicated video on Windows subsystem for Linux, link will be in description. Next, to run Ubuntu, it's required to have virtualization enabled. So to check the status, type and search for Task Manager. Navigate to Performance tab. As you can see, virtualization is enabled in my computer. If it's not enabled in your case, you must enable from the BIOS. Once everything is enabled and checked, let's start with installation of Ubuntu distribution. From your keyboard, hold the Windows logo key and the letter R to launch the Run dialog box. Simply type CMD and hit Enter, which will open this command box. Let's type the first command which will list out names of the Linux distribution installed. I will leave all the commands in the description. As you can see, currently I do not have any Linux distributions installed. The next command will list out all the distributions available for installation. As you can see, it lists out all the distributions, including Kali Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, and many more. As we will install Ubuntu, simply copy the name as shown on the video. Next, to install Ubuntu, simply type this command, then give a space, and simply paste the copy distribution name, and simply hit enter. As you can see, the installation process has started already. Once the installation is completed, you will also see this success message. Next, you will see something, which says, Unix username. So set a username of your choice. And then set a password. For security, use a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Retype the password, and that's it. The password is set. And as you can see, we have successfully installed Ubuntu distribution. Just to confirm, let's search Ubuntu in search box, and it's visible here which indicates successful installation. Next type this command to refresh the package lists from the repositories configured on the system. It updates the local database of available software packages. This next command will upgrade all the installed packages to their latest versions available. While it's upgrading, please do not forget to hit subscribe button and also please hype this video so that it reaches to more audience. Now you are all set to explore a powerful open source world of possibilities. This last get it command will install a lightweight text editor on the system. It's designed for writing code, editing configurations or taking notes. But this is totally optional. This next command will show the exact version of get it installed. As you can see on the video. This final command will actually launch the get it file editor with a graphical interface. That's it for today. I hope you have also successfully installed Ubuntu by following my video. Next if you want to run Docker in your Windows computer. Watch my next video.